Good morning and welcome to CGS News at 9.30. When people think of gambling, they usually associate it with high rollers in casinos, high street bookies or fruit machines. With the development of online casinos, Welsh gamblers are losing an estimated £10 million a week and addiction is a growing problem. But the most common form of gambling in Wales is still playing the national lottery. 14 pence of every pound spent on tickets goes to charitable causes like the Heritage Lottery Fund. Adrian Hill has a lot to deal with. He's a father of five, carer for his wife and in charge of all the cooking and shopping. The cost of meat, fish and fresh vegetables has increased the most. Adrian would like to buy fresh and locally sourced food but instead relies on supermarket special offers, which he's noticed are mainly on junk food. He now buys more frozen vegetables, tins and packaged food, but worries about their nutritional value. Over 200 staff voted for industrial action when a 30% cut to their pensions was proposed. Today they join institutions across Wales in making their feelings known. I think it's a strong signal to our employers that our pensions are not up for grabs, our pensions are not something they can mess around with, the unions say pension cuts will discourage the best academics from working in Wales. If we aren't able to say that there is a good package of terms and conditions for those who teach, you're not going to have the same quality lecturers in the system and you're not going to have the same quality education. Preparations for the grand opening are well underway at the Park Hotel's new Crown Social restaurant. Lunos says his cooking's regional seasonal. He hopes to support local growers, but says that to create the best end product, some ingredients will have to come from further afield. Well, Cardiff's had to wait so long, I think, um, because it hasn't had the, the culture, the food culture. What does this say then about the energy companies? Well, Lindsay Curtin from Consumer Focus describes them as all as bad as each other. Uh, for example, a recent Ofgem investigation found that their quick to pass on price rises to consumers, but not so fast with decreases and tariffs are confusing. So no energy company is smelling of roses at the moment. And of course, uh, a lot of consumers may well say, well, I'm not with Scottish Power, uh, so I'm OK. Will they be OK? I'm afraid not, no. Lindsay Curtin talks about a pack mentality. That is, once one of the big six energy providers puts up prices, the others tend to follow suit. Now, the companies aren't allowed to discuss their prices with each other. That would be seen as forming a cartel and price fixing, which is illegal. But the last time we saw a price rise in November, all six of them went for it. So we really do need to brace ourselves. The best known fair trade products, probably coffee. In Cardiff, there are over 100 places to buy fair trade coffee, including cafes, supermarkets and independent stores. At Embassy Cafe in Cates, nearly all the food and drink uses fair trade ingredients. They balance the extra cost by using locally sourced products too, which have no transport or storage charges. They believe that fair trade simply makes good business sense. The waiting list to join Cardiff's branches is at an all-time high. Parents seem keener than ever for their children to play sport, spend nights away from home on camping trips, do arts and crafts and learn scouting's values. They learn to work together and not just with their friends, it's with other people um, because often they don't go to the same schools and it's good communication skills for them as well. Tony Elston's been running a butcher's in Newport Market for six years. He prides himself on selling locally sourced meat and says he survived the recession because shoppers with less money are keen to buy good quality food. He'd appreciate the publicity a focus on food in the city would bring. More than 600 people have come to Cineworld and the University of Glamorgan to see the latest in experimental student film. Launched eight years ago in Aberystwyth, it's the first time the festival's travelled to the capital. It's a means of dealing with life. You know, there's nothing better, is there, than walking out of a cinema, having spent two and a half hours in a darkened room, and you just leave thinking that humanity is something which you are proud to be part of. That's all from CGS News. The next bulletin's in an hour. Have a good morning.